Guys, before you watch the video, please, please make sure to tune in February 11th, Super Bowl Sunday at a halftime. We're going live for the $1,000 giveaway for this channel for hitting 10,000 subs. You have to be in the live to claim the $1,000 prize. We've had you been commenting Llama for the last month. If you commented Llama, you're going to be on the wheel. You have to be in the live at halftime. We're going to go live about 20 minutes before the halftime kicks off, so everybody get in, and then uh, we're going to spin the wheel a couple times. If you're there, you're there. You win $1,000. If you're not, we're going to keep on spinning until someone who's in the live is there to claim the prize. Don't forget, halftime, live show, $1,000. Be there. All right, guys, let's get some NBA picks and props for Friday, February 9th, slate of games. Trey, let's take a look at our leaderboard. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, at the moment, I am 0-1-0. Actually, I am 1-0. That's because my game uh, just ended a couple minutes ago. I gave out the Dallas Mavericks on the uh, minus 2.5 versus the New York Knicks, and I kind of expected this game to be a domination station from the Mavericks. The Knicks, they just uh, did a big trade and kind of sent off a couple of their bench players, so they were a little thin. Uh, but thankfully, we got a good line there at minus two and a half. And the Mavericks they end up winning this game by 14 points. Hashtag no sweat bet. Yeah, and I also had a no sweat bet. One and a day for myself. The Timberwolves plus two on the road going up against the Milwaukee Bucks, who continue to struggle. They're losing by 20 plus points right now at home in the fourth quarter. They're getting booed on their home floor. We swept the board trade. Let's go to those player props. Have you start us off? Yeah, this is where I put a loss on the board. I put my faith in Ben Simmons over 19 and a half PRAs versus the Cavs. And Simmons, he didn't play all that well in this game, didn't play all that bad, but he just wasn't as aggressive as I expected him to be. He only played 20 minutes, which I honestly expected, but he only got the nine PRAs. Uh, and uh, over the last three games, he was averaging over one PRA per minute. We did not get that treatment here. Yeah, and I gave out Carl Anthony Towns to go over 2.5 made threes going up against the Bucks. He made his third early in the third quarter. So I stopped watching after that, cashed the ticket, and we're going to move on to the next game. So it did go 1-0 there. Trey, let's go to the group play for tomorrow. The game is just about to kick off. It is the Nuggets going up against the Lakers. Um, let's go to that leaderboard. Sorry. Uh, the Nuggets going up against the Lakers. I think we both took the Lakers. I think it was plus 3.5 whenever we took it. So hopefully we both take the Lakers and uh, they win. They are doing the uh, Kobe Bryant statue, and they're wearing the Black Mamas with a GG patch tonight. So hopefully the Lakers can win that one uh, for Kobe tonight. Trey, let's go to the group pick for tomorrow. It's going to be the Nuggets again. We got a really short slate of NBA games. The Nuggets going up against the Kings. Kings only a plus a half. Basically, a pick them here over under 233 and a half. Have you start? Yeah, this game's going to be really fun to watch. I faded the Nuggets yesterday with my Lakers. Will I do it again today? I think I will. Give me uh, the Kings here. I'm going to take them at plus a half on the money line, whatever you guys want to do. I think they're going to end up winning this game straight up. Over the last two times, the Nuggets uh, traveled to Sacramento. The Kings, they walked out of there with a win. And I think it's going to happen here again uh, because this Nuggets team, they're honestly not very good on the road. They're almost 500 on the road with a 14 and 12 record. Uh, they are playing my Lakers tonight. They are about to tip off here. So I'm excited to get off and watch that game. But I do expect them to come in this game with tired legs. Uh, so look for De'Aaron Fox and the Kings to push the pace as much as they can. So give me the Kings here at plus a half. It's kind of fishy line, but uh, I'm going to be putting my mouth on the hook and take the bait. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go opposite. I'm going to take the Nuggets money line. I think they're going to win this game with defense. I, I think they're going to lose to the Lakers tonight, which is also why I'm going to take the Nuggets. I don't think they're going to drop back to back. I'm going to keep a short and sweet. Give me the Nuggets here uh, on the money line to beat the Kings. I also kind of like the under as well, 233.5. won't give it out as official play, but under and the Denver Nuggets. Denver Nuggets as the only play uh, for the uh, for the show today. Trey, let's go to our plays for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to be talking about this Houston Rockets going up against Toronto Raptors game. It's going to be a fun game to watch. Both teams, they play competitive basketball in the Rockets. They come this game with a 23-27 and 27 record. They're also 27-22-1 ATS. But Houston, they are brutal on the road with a 5-18 and 18 road record. And the Raptors, they come this game with an 18-33 and 33 record. They're also 24-27 and 27 ATS. Toronto, they are 10-13 and 13 at home. But I'm going to be going uh, with the home team here in this game. Give me the Toronto Raptors on the money line at minus 135. I love that the money line is this good of odds because I feel like the Raptors are just going to control this game because they're coming into it finally fully healthy. I kind of expect them to turn it up because, meanwhile, you cannot say the same thing about the Rockets. They're going to be without their best player in Fred Van Vleten, uh, who Houston turns to a lot whenever they play on the road. And whenever we look at this matchup historically, it's honestly dominated by the Raptors. They're 4 and one straight up over their last five games against the Rockets. And I expect that kind of trend to continue here in this game because this Raptors team, they do not foul at all. They allow the third fewest free throws per game. So look for this Raptors team to progressively dominate here in this one. 
the Rockets. I just don't think they have enough fire firepower here to compete with the Raptors. So uh, I'm just going to take Scotty Barnes and the boys. Give me the Raptors on the money line versus the Rockets. Yeah, Trey, I like that one there. For my play today, we're going to be looking at the Pelicans going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm going to take the Pelicans to win this game on the money line as the play. Tonight, whenever we're recording this, the Lakers are going up against the Denver Nuggets, plus three and a half at home uh, on the night that are unveiling the Kobe Bryant statue. They're also playing in the Black Mamba jerseys, all black jerseys with a GG patch on the jersey, honoring both Kobe Bryant and his daughter who died in that plane crash. It's going to be a very emotional night for the Lakers. I think they're going to come out, give their best performance of the season, hopefully beating the Denver Nuggets tonight as we're recording this. And then after the win tonight, they're going to lay a huge egg on the back-to-back -back going up against a really good Pelicans team. And I honestly feel kind of weird, Trey, talking about giving out the Pelicans after the emotional night with the Lakers because it's a very th uh, sad thing that happened. But this is a good spot to take the Pelicans. This is a more of a spot bet for me than an overall talent. But I do think the Pelicans have the better team, and I do think they're playing the best basketball right now between the two teams. The Pelicans are on a little bit of a road trip playing the Clippers in their last game beating up on the Clippers pretty easily, taking that game in the fourth quarter. In their last game, they've also won four consecutive games. And while I do think the Lakers are going to play with their hearts tonight, this team overall in the season, they haven't been great. The Pelicans team has been kicking the crap out of teams over the last four games as well. They beat the Clippers, the Raptors, the Rockets by double-digit points in all three of those games. Zion Williamson in the second half of the Clippers game, if you guys were able to catch that, he was unstoppable in the fourth quarter, late in the third quarter. If he plays like that, the Lakers are going to have a hard time stopping this Pelicans team. We have CJ McCollum. I'm going to break him down a little bit from deep. This Pelicans team's really good. I, I like the spot here off the emotional win, hopefully for the Lakers. Give me the Pellies here on the money line as the play. Trey, let's go. Arizona just went to three overtimes. It's unbelievable. Let's go to the player props tomorrow. I'll have you start us off. Yeah, guys, I'm going to be talking about the Aaron Fox here. I'm going to be going over his PAs versus the Denver Nuggets. I really love this over for Fox in this game because, in my opinion, I think we're going to see him leave his mark throughout this one. That's because Fox, he loves playing against the Nuggets, and he's also coming in this game with some negative momentum behind him, which I honestly love because it's going to give us a nice discount line whenever it does drop. Because over his last five games, Fox, he's only averaging 27.2 PAs per game, which is well below his season-long average. But I kind of expect him to turn it up here in this big game. That's because Fox, he loves playing at home versus the Nuggets. Over his last four home games versus Denver, he's averaging a massive 39.6 PRAs in those games. And he's dominated in every single one of those. And I kind of expect that to continue here in this game. The Nuggets, they're almost a 500 basketball team whenever they play on the road. And I expect the Kings to just set the tone early in this game, especially whenever we factor in, like we just talked about earlier, the Nuggets they played last night versus my Lakers. I think they're going to have just a little bit of tired legs in this game. That's not what you can have when facing off against speedy De'Aaron Fox. So give me De'Aaron Fox to go over his PAs versus the Nuggets. Yeah, Trey, I like the play there. Uh, for my play today, I'm going back to the Golden Goose. CJ McCollum to go over his three-pointers made going up against the Lakers. CJ McCollum, he's back on the betting card, mainly because he got right against the San Antonio, uh, San Antonio Spurs whenever I gave him out last on February 2nd. He was struggling with his shot towards the end of January, only making a combined five threes in four of his five games down the stretch of January. But since the Boston Celtics game on January 29th, C.J. McCollum has made three plus threes in four consecutive games. He's also shot double-digit threes in three consecutive games. And in the last two games alone against the Raptors and the Clippers, he's made 11 shots from deep. And because he was shooting so poorly at the end of January, they did move his line back down to 2.5. But I have a feeling the line's going right back up to 3.5 after this last couple of games of breakout performances. He's been on fire from deep, shooting 43.7% on the year and shooting over 50% in back-to-back -back games. He made four consecutive threes in the second half against the Clippers to put them away. And I like Cedric McCollin again to do that against this Lakers team from three. Give me the Golden Goose over his three-pointers made as the play. Trey, let's go to the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I went the Raptors here on the money line versus the Houston Rockets. Rockets, they are not good on the road. And I expect the big Raptors crowd to back them here in this game. So I'm also going with Darren Fox over his PAs versus the Nuggets. Fox, he loves playing against Denver in Sacramento. Uh, so this is just going to be another game that he just dominates in. Yeah, I'm going to take the Pellies here on the money line on the road against the Lakers. I, I want the Lakers to win the night and then uh, have a, a letdown spot against the Pelicans tomorrow night. And then CJ McCollum over 2.5 made threes, played up to 3.5 is what it's supposed to say, not 2.5 threes going up against the Lakers. I think the line is going to move up just a little bit for him tomorrow. So give me CJ McCollum 2.5, played up to 3.5 as the play there. Guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Friday, February 9th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. All right, guys, new intro here for the Bear Pack. We hit 10,000 subscribers again. We want to thank everybody again. Trey, if you want to pull that 10,000 subscribers up, if you guys comment,
Llama. On any of our videos up until Super Bowl, you will be entered into w- winning $1,000 from us. The only catch is, come Super Bowl Sunday, you have to be in the chat to claim the prize. We're going to have a live at halftime. You have to be in the chat to claim the prize, and you have to comment Llama on any of the videos up until the Super Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. We also have a new game. It's going to be Trey and myself versus the Bear Pack. You can call it pros versus Joes if you want. I don't really like the name because I don't consider us pros. I don't consider you guys Joes. But, Trey, if you want to go to the YouTube channel, this is how you guys play. You're going to go to our YouTube channel. You're going to hit the community tab. We've been in the community tab a lot this season. Uh, you're going to go to the community tab. We have our plays for the day. So, obviously, the intro is not going to have plays for today. But these are our plays for our next video. It's the Pelicans minus 2.5, the Heat minus 5, Quinnipiac minus 4.5, and, and Wisconsin minus 10.5. Those are trades and myself's plays. What you guys are going to do is pick which one you think will not hit, meaning you're going to fade us, which is pros versus Joes, which is the game called. But you guys are going to try to pick which one is not going to hit. If you guys win, you're going to get a point. If we win, we're going to get a point. We're going to run it Friday through Friday every single week. Whichever team has the most wins, so 4-3, to 6-2, to two, whatever it is, that person or group will win fifty dollars. If the community wins, we're gonna do a wheel spin for the community. If we win, I don't know how we're gonna get our I don't know how we're gonna get our cheddar, but uh you guys are just gonna have to subscribe, I guess, more. But that's the game. Hopefully everybody understands it. Trey, let's get into the video. Look at the leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're gonna go to youtube.com, you're gonna go to Bears Profit Plays, you're gonna search it in, you're gonna hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of subscribe. You're gonna click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 